Okay, okay. <laughs> I had to, uh, I guess I had to fall in with the crowd. I didn't know, you know, I was checking out some YouTube. I didn't know that the uh, response was going to be so uh, quick and and uh, forceful. I'm, I'm glad, though. I'm glad to see people fired up about this. What I'm talking about <clears throat> is uh, Bill Nye, uh, the, the pseudoscience guy. Uh, <laughs> he has a, a, a short video uh, called Creationism is Not Appropriate for Children. Wow. Piqued my interest. And when I read it, <clears throat> I was actually uh I was actually shocked at how insulting and uh <clears throat> that's one part. The other part is more so like an insult on the intelligence. We'll look at it. Um to do this real quick. I haven't really prepared for real for real. Uh watched it, you know, I watched it, took some notes or whatever. So I'm gonna hit on that. Okay. I'm going to read some of uh, what I got from this article here, okay? We're going to go off that. Famed TV scientist Bill Nye is slamming creationism uh, in a new online video for Big Think titled Creationism is Not Appropriate for Children. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I highlighted some of this article. I'm just going to go through my highlights. Bill Nye, the science guy, that's their quotation, said the United States has great capital and scientific knowledge, and when you have a portion of the population that doesn't believe in it, it holds everyone back. Hmm. Holds everyone back. All right. Okay. Let's just stop right there. Holds everyone back. Okay. So we're talking about the United States it has its great capital and scientific knowledge. Uh, he was actually talking about why uh, a lot of people uh, – come to America, and he's saying this is a big reason. I more so thought it was because it was the land of opportunity, not the land of science. Um, you know, the social the social structure, you know what I'm saying, democracy, et cetera, et cetera. But I guess it's because of science. Anyway, he says it, it holds everyone back. Okay. So we in America are being held back by the – well, there's 85 percent of people who do believe in creationism. We're holding back that 15 percent. Okay. Uh, okay. Is this the same America that put a man on the moon uh, as a leader of the free world? Has a Mars rover up there exploring and produced the airplane and the automobile? Okay. Yeah. We're holding everybody back, Bill Nye. We're holding everybody back. Okay. Hogwash. All right. Let's move on. Let's see. This is, this goes to what I was just saying. The Gallup poll has been tracking Americans' view on creation and evolution for the past 30 years. In June, it released its latest findings, which show 46% of Americans believed in creationism, 32% believed in evolution guided by God, and 15% believed in uh, atheistic evolution. And I think that's Bill Nye's 15% <clears throat> category. Again, he is saying that the 85% is holding back to 15%. Okay. And one thing that I, I want you guys to realize is that the, the guy makes a lot of claims. He says some stuff, but he never really backs it up. And that's my thing about many evolutionists. They say this, this, and that, but we never actually hear what you have to offer. Like, what's your explanation? They say it's too complicated. They say something. Anyway, <clears throat> this is one example of him making such a claim but doesn't really <laughs> explain what he means. The idea of deep time of billions of years explains so much of the world around us. If you try to ignore that, your worldwide view becomes crazy, attainable, it's self inconsistent. And I said in the video, let me repeat this. The idea of deep time of billions of years explains so much of the world around us. If you try to ignore that, your worldview becomes crazy, untenable, it's self inconsistent, said 
Nye said in the video. Okay, what are you talking about, guy? What do you? What does that mean? <laughs> Again, you make a claim, but what do you mean? The idea of deep time of billions of years explains so much of the world around us. Would you care to enlighten the not Bill Nye people of the world? How does it? How does it explain? Because a lot of time went by, so that explains it. Okay, no. Okay. All right. Now let's go on to uh, some of the some of the the I would call this disrespect. Okay, he says, I say to the grown-ups, if you want to deny evolution and live in your world, that's completely inconsistent with the world we observe. That's fine, but don't make your kids do it because we need them. We need scientifically literate voters and taxpayers for the future. We need engineers that can build stuff and solve problems, he said. Oh, man, so articulate, Bill Nye. Okay, now let's break this down, and I'm going to show you, in case you missed it, how <clears throat> he just disrespected. If you are a parent and you believe that God created things, I'm going to show you how he just disrespected that, okay? Okay, first of all, uh, I'm sure you guys noticed, he said, if you want to deny evolution and live in your world, Okay, which is inconsistent with the world we believe. That's okay. So essentially, for all intents and purposes, he's saying that you. We, I say we because that's what I believe. We're in our own world. We're not in touch with reality. That's. I mean, if you want to get into the nuts and bolts of it, that's what he's saying. Out of grip with reality. Disrespectful to eighty-five percent of the people. Okay, let's continue. And then he says, "Oh, that's fine." Again, condescending, condescending. I don't, uh, I don't want to generalize a whole group, but a lot of times people who are so-called smart also tend to be condescending, and this is just one example of that. Okay, all right. Now this is where the heat get turns up, but don't make your kids do it because we need them. Whoa, 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 Bill. Whoa, Bill. Well, now I got to call you by your real name, William. S stop right there, William. I really, really don't need you <laughs> telling me what I need to do with my kids. Where are your kids and what are they doing? Okay, let's let's uh, <clears throat> let's not make assumptions and, and suggestions about what other people should be teaching their kids. Bill, who who are you? Like seriously, who are you? I've, I I don't understand. I don't get it. Who are you to tell anyone what to do with their beliefs and their kids? Is 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 William Nye the pseudoscience guy buying diapers or uh, is he buying wipes? Is he is he feeding anybody or what 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 is what is William Nye the pseudoscience guy doing? We're gonna find out later what he does and why he's such a great Great God to be telling us what to do with our kids. Okay, let's continue. Because we need them. We need scientifically literate voters and taxpayers for the future. Wow. Wow. So, if you believe God created things, then you are scientifically illiterate. Is what he, uh, it's a simple, uh, contrary statement. He says, we need scientifically literate voters and taxpayers for the future. We, okay, so if you believe God created things, you are scientifically illiterate is what he's saying. <laughs> Again, he's slotting these under the table, but I'm catching them. William, I catch them, William. Okay, we need engineers that can build stuff <laughs> and solve problems. Okay. That is scientific language. We need to build stuff and solve some problems. And apparently if you believe in God and that God created things, then you can't build stuff and solve problems. William, William Nye, you, my friend, are a champion at your craft. <laughs> I must say, a champion at your craft. I've got, I, I got to double back. <laughs> but don't make your kids do it. Who are you, Bill? I don't understand. <laughs> I, 
it, it, I don't know. I don't know. He's telling us what we should do with our kids. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Uh, you know, I, I believe God created everything. I uh, went through school uh, making mostly uh, A's and B's and graduated college and got a degree and got a good job and things are going good. And I guess I'm, uh, I've solved some problems in my day. Uh, I've built some things. So I don't know. Maybe I'm an exception to the rule, Bill. But then again, 85% of the American population believe that God had a uh, substantial hand in things, but your 15% is somehow somehow weighted very heavily, or you think it is anyway. Anyway, I'm going to go to the last quote here. Uh, in another couple centuries, I'm sure that world, that that, I'm so, wait a minute, I'm going to go back. In another couple centuries, I'm sure that worldview won't even exist. There's no evidence for it. So, Nye ends his video. <laughs> oh, man, how lame, how lame, how lame. Okay, I mean, this has been around, this this faith thing has been around for thousands of years, thousands of years. Bill, you've been around for, what, 50? <laughs> and you're going to speak to... What's going to happen in another couple of centuries, okay? Well, I think if we uh, measure uh, worldwide view on <laughs> uh, theism versus atheism, I, I uh, think it'd be a pretty hard uh, hard sell to say that uh, that 15% is going to trump the 85% uh at any given point <laughs> anyway again people don't believe evolutionists that uh to be honest uh, most of them are, are are uh closet satanists i won't even say a lot i'll say some are i i've actually uh had an interaction with the guy and i i totally called him on it anyway this guy has stuff sponsored by Disney and and if you didn't know Disney is not I mean you know they got their they got their gay thing going on or whatever they're not real not real biblical you know what I'm saying so of course he has a production sponsored by Disney you know what I'm saying they're all working in cahoots uh this, 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 the 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 TV guy is telling us what we should do uh with our kids I mean seriously uh Bill uh get a life and and leave ours alone. Thank you though for you know your concern, but kindly mind your own business and do what you do best. Uh, I'm out. Uh, Bill, do your thing. Uh, oh, uh, just want to mention I did like Beekman's World a lot better, a lot more interesting of a show. Uh, so I want to throw that in there. Uh, but again, uh. William Nye, the pseudoscience guy, stay out of the babysitting uh, advice giving business and do what you do best, which is this.